Hello everyone, in the video I'm going to show the AcuRig. It's a free software which helps to bind a skeleton to your model. So basically rig your model so you can start animating. And in this particular video, I'm not going to stop on details for how to tweak the parameters, how to uh, make it better in any case. Uh, so I'm just going to do a quick expert uh, into Maya or Motion Builder and uh, show how to characterize and start animating your character. So the import poses for your mesh, and in my case, I have a mesh on mannequin, so I removed all the skeleton binding and keep just the mesh. And this model is the A pose, and it support different poses in case you have the T pose character, A pose characters, if you sculpt something in the ZBrush or any other software, so you have this model. And as I said at the beginning, I'm not going to stop in any details. So that will be absolutely uh, binding by default what this um, software could provide without tweaking anything. So it's automatically place joints on the proper places and then place joints for left and right hand, which is quite nice because it also supports fingers animation. Um, it's doing like for default settings, I think it's doing the job quite nice. So you don't need uh, any effort actually to start animating a character, at least for the prototype or for the draft. I think it's, um, uh, yeah, you will see now when the, this after rigging is going to be finished. Uh, yeah, but I'm going to stop on another step. So once the model is binded, you see now my mesh is animated by the skeleton and some playback of the animation we can run some acting on this model. So we see there are some issues with fingers probably that would be nice to tweak, but let's um, go to next step is export. And I'm going to export the FBX. We have some target applications presets here. And for me, it was interesting to check the motion builder and my presets. So how the, the skeleton looks like, and if we can quickly characterize it in Maya or Motion Builder with a human AK and start animating. And actually, we can't. So I already exported some of these models uh, that I tried uh, before. And let's see how the Maya preset looks like if we export this into FBX. And in our case, if we show the skeleton, uh, we see that the naming That like a like a pelvis or hip joints, you see that they're not actually the human IK naming set. And in order to name now to have the to create a definition, we need to assign bone one by one into like uh, to assign every node into correspondent channel for for the characterization in order to start animating it. And in my particular case, I already did that and save it as the preset. So now I can select a hip node, load a preset, and this preset I'm going to share as well. So I could read preset. And this preset they actually located in, in the folder of um, my user and then uh, application data roaming at the desk, hip characterization tool. And the cool, uh, cool thing about this is that once I place the preset here, uh, it's also shared between my motion builder so I can use in, in both applications. So let me choose the AcuRig, uh, sorry, AcuRig and press OK. So now you see the binding is finished except just one reference bone that you need to assign uh, to bone root. I think that's the only missing element here. And once we lock and create a control rig, we see that Everything is works now. We, we're ready to animate or retarget some more cap into our character or other animation. So we're ready to go. Um, so yeah, uh, you see, like even if the naming set is not the same, using the preset, we can very quickly um, characterize the character and uh, do some animation stuff on it. Thanks for watching. Hope the video will be helpful. I'm going to share the present as I mentioned before and see you. Bye.